six of the world's most expensive foods. As the food program explores in Britain's secret saffron story, the red spice is one of the world's most expensive ingredients, worth more per pound than gold. But what other foods would give the sought-after spice a run for its money? What is it that makes these products so costly? And are they really worth their price tag? Here are a few of planet Earth's most expensive foodstuffs. How many have you tried? Number 1. Saffron If your rice is luminous yellow, then the chances are it's been sharing a saucepan with saffron. The spice, nicknamed red gold, is the vivid crimson stigma or threads from a crocus flower and it's used as a colouring agent in food. Why does something so small cost so much? It is weight for weight, more expensive than gold itself. The reasons are simple. Saffron crocuses only flower for a week or two a year in the autumn. Harvesting the spice is labour-intensive, it's collected and preceded by hand. And each small flower has only three stigma, which means it takes around two football pitches of crocuses to create a kilogram of saffron. That's as many as 300,000 flowers. Number 2. Caviar Caviar is the pickled row of the Trojan fish and considered one of the world's great delicacies. It's tricky to handle and package, but more significantly, it's incredibly rare. The most famous caviar is from the Bluga sturgeon, found in the Caspian and the Black Sea. Now critically endangered, very little of its eggs can be sold legally. It takes up to two decades for the Bluga sturgeon to reach maturity and its adult size. Even rarer is the roe from the albino sturgeon, now almost extinct in its native environment. According to the Guinness World Records, the most expensive caviar recorded is from an aged, possibly 100-year-old albino bulga sturgeon, whose white caviar sold for about $34,500 per kilogram. My god, that's steep! Number 3. Oysters Now considered a luxury, oysters haven't always been the food of the filthy rich. In the early 19th century, oysters were cheap as chips, and an important food source for the working classes in coastal communities. A snack so plentiful that they were used to bulk out meat pies. But overfishing and pollution have had a catastrophic effect on oyster stocks and scarcity has bumped up their value. A dozen in a top London seafood restaurant will sell you back around 51 pounds. It seems some people are happy to shell out for a slimy mollusk for two. Of course, you're also buying the oysters in famous aphrodisiac qualities. Be careful who you dine with. Number 4. White Truffle Found in the Piedmont region of northern Italy, highly esteemed white truffles will only grow amongst the roots of certain trees are much scarier than any other type of truffle and have a particularly intensive flavour and aroma. They can't be cultivated or grown. Although folk have tried for generations to farm the truffles, they can still only be sourced in the wild. It is this unpredictability along with the length people go to to locate and harvest them, which results in their hefty price tag. The record sum paid for a single white truffle was by Maku casino owner Stanley Ho in 2007. He splashed out $330,000 £165,000 for one of the largest truffles uncovered in decades, weighing 1.5 kg. A pretty extraordinary price for a pungent underground fungus. Number 5. Iberico ham. A type of cured ham produced in Spain and Portugal, the finest Iberico ham is from free-range pigs that have a diet of only acorns during the last period of their life. The classification of Iberico ham is extremely strict, with black label ham considered to be the very best, produced from pure-bred Iberian pigs roaming oak forest and feasting on acorns. On top of that, the ham is cured for a lengthy 36 months, According to the Guinness World Records, 
The most expensive leg of ham commercially available is an Iberian Manchado di Jabugo, retailing at a whopping 3,192,67 million pounds as of 20th of March 2016. Although the pigs are reared for just three years, the ham legs are then cured for up to six. Number six, Wagyu beef. Wagyu simply translates as Japanese beef, and it can come from any of four different breeds of Japanese cow. The meat is intensely marbled with fat, which renders down during the cooking process to make the meat tender, moist and melt in the mouth. Some fans describe it as falling apart like a soft piece of fish. The high price point is all down to the rearing process. To qualify for the Wagyu mark, the cows have to be reared and fed according to strict guidelines, with calves being given special feed to guarantee the signature fatty marbling. Pope Biff, one of the most highly prized, fetches up to 500 pounds a kilogram in Japan. That's a lot of money. 